Hello, hello, good evening, good evening everyone. Okay, thanks for joining us live yet again on a Tuesday um, so-called evening. Right, okay, so today we have, a, no, I'll say a new speaker with us, right, so Isabella, right, so just a quick introduction, uh, you know, of uh, Isabella, okay, before I pass the time to her. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Isabella actually is a, uh, she, she's a nurse by training, okay, yeah, then uh, she actually switched uh, rather switch her career, okay, um, to becoming a full-time financial coach, okay, which actually has helped, um, you know, many people to invest not only safely but intelligently as well, and and uh, you know, helping helping them to make uh, money along the way, right? Okay, she also spoke at uh, you know some various wealth conference alongside uh, other financial gurus such as um, Mary Buffett okay and John Sia as well right okay so uh, just a short intro but I'll let her do the you know um, deeper intro okay uh, I'll leave it to her to do that right okay but before before I pass the time to her I saw some of you already you know uh, so-called live with us. So can you give us some response so that we know that uh, you are here with us? Maybe just by typing in uh, FM. Okay, FM stands for Financial Missy. Uh, that's her, <laughs> her, her name, her, her title. Okay, because she was a Missy, right? That's why she put herself, uh, she put her title as uh, this Financial Missy. Right, okay. So uh, if not, you can also tap on the uh, like button yeah okay so we know that you are here with us okay so type in fm or you know tap on the like button right okay so yeah we saw some fm coming in huh? okay so cool, cool, cool. okay so with that i shall not you know uh hold everyone back i shall pass the time to uh our financial missy isabella okay Isabella, the time is yours Right. Thank you so much, Leslie. Thank you so much for the wonderful introduction. Yeah, so Isabella here. Uh, I brand myself as a financial missy. Reason being why is because I am a, I was a missy, currently still doing missy work, and I'm dabbling more into financial these days. So let me just start my presentation. Can you guys see my screen? You guys can see my screen type Y, Y for yes. All right. Okay. Simply today, uh, I want to teach you guys how to invest. And I want you guys to think about when do you want to actually gain your financial freedom? Because I do not know about you guys. For myself, I know I want to gain financial independence, retire early by 40. So I'm not going to divulge how, how, how old am I right now. But um, soon, 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 I'll be 40 soon um, in a... In a in a in a in a secret, <laughs> but nevertheless, today I want to teach you guys how to invest simple, effortlessly, and also affordable manner. Yeah, okay. The the market is now very choppy. I know this is why I wanted to conduct this particular webinar to teach you guys to guide you guys in navigating the market safely. Right. So before I start proper, I want to do a disclaimer first. Very, very important. Okay. So this is never intended to be a financial advice. Whatever being shared today is actually my own personal view on the US equity market, which is my niche, and also my personal investment strategy. Yeah. It's never going to be intended as a financial advice. So please do your own due diligence before committing to any investments. Yeah. Okay. So um, moral story is I want to say is. I am always wrong, okay? I am always wrong. Please do your own due diligence, right? Very important, okay? I can't stress more than that. So, hi guys, once again, I'm Isabella. I am financial missy. I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing with honors, and I'm also an expert in health and financial planning. So, this comes to this. What does investing actually mean to you guys? Come on, type it in the chat. What does investing mean to you guys? Okay, so investing to myself, actually, you know, I had this phobia of investing when I was much younger. Why? Investing to me means time. 
I need to take a lot of time looking at a chart. Investing means money. I need money to be on my money. If you're investing $1, you probably reap a few cents and you don't get the satisfaction out of it, right? And investing to me means that I need the knowledge to know when to go in, when to actually exit from the positioning itself. So for me, investing when I was much younger, I had this phobia. But I need to let you all know that I actually started my investing journey since 21 years old. So I invested into the different variety of um, asset classes, unit trust, blue chip, US uh, stock, um, value investing options, uh, crypto property, everything actually you know, that, that you guys actually can think of right here. So, so you can see that I used to start with you know a lot of trading because it's fast. I can see the, the rewards out of it. So I was so excited. But this is one problem. The market doesn't always go in a straight line, right? So when the market goes up, I'm super happy, I'm elated, and then the market goes higher. Yes, I got more money, super excited, and I do not know when to sell, okay? So because of the psychology down there, I am actually in this constant state, very happy, very happy, then followed by set. Oh no, the market is down. How am I going to do my positioning? Am I going to cut loss? But then if I cut loss, I'm losing money. Cannot afford it, right? Because the psychology says no, don't want to lose money. Then again, I hope, I hope that the market will go up. So I and so it's a, it's a it's a really a cycle, you see. How many of you guys are like me in this vicious cycle of you know happy, greed, sad, hopefulness, and then from hope, I want to actually gain back to the gain back more money. Right, so evolve in this cycle. If you guys are like me, just type in why, why for yes, you are also that. So okay, it's a lot of psychology that we are talking about, right? Right. I see Vincent <laughs> type me. Yeah. So so it's so very important to know essentially what is actually happening in the market. How do we invest safely? Very important. Okay, so just a bit about uh, my background. Um, I actually participated in a lot of different um, educational courses like Wealth Academy, BIC, Buffett Online School. And these are some of the very reputable people that has been my mentor. And I'm very grateful for them, really, because they helped me to gain the financial independence at my age, right? And all in all, I've been paid like more than 20,000 of it, really. So I want to actually help you guys to save my years of experience of testing and, try, and, and trying the, the, the market and also this educational school fee, right? But I want to tell you guys that today my session right, is really, really only for total beginners, okay? Because total beginners are probably the ones that are having a lot of self-doubt, do not know how to navigate the market and investors who doesn't want to lose money. Like who wants to lose money, right? So I don't want any of you to lose money and I want to help you out, guys to actually time the market to know when to enter, all right, and when to exit. So congratulations to you guys out there for being here that you can benefit um, from my sharing today, right? Okay, so today I'll be teaching you guys on how to safely invest using proven methodologies that top investors used and also to achieve powerful profit, profits using this MINT system and start investing immediately using these two G's strategies, okay? So types of investing methodologies, I'm pretty sure you guys out there, um, whether you guys actually, you know, heard about investing or already dabbling into investing, you know that people always talk about this thing called dollar cost averaging. When the market is low, um, probably buy a bit lower and then you dollar cost it dollar cost, the, the average price of it, or even technical analysis looking at the charts, fundamental analysis looking at the financial statement. But I want to say that investing, right, it is no one particular option, right, of which strategies you want to use. You need to do a combination of all of it. And it's, it can be very intimidating. Why? Dollar cost averaging, a lot of people say, like, see no evil, hear no evil, just, um, just, just see, don't see, don't hear, don't talk, and then just, just, just do it, right? Doing your regular saving plan, um, close to eyes, market go down, you, you delete your platform and then uh, hopefully like five months later, one year later, your portfolio goes up. But have you guys actually thought, right? What if the stock doesn't go up? There'll be heart pain, heart wrenching. <laughs> Right? Because I do know, I do know of some friends who actually invest in certain companies or rather penny stocks and they see that the portfolios are not up, right? And whether the, the companies are able to rebound, that's a very big question, all right? 
So look at the chart. As I said, very technical. It, it involves a lot of time to actually read it. You know, there's a certain uh, methodology to actually analyze charts. It can be very tiring because US market, after all, opens at night. And looking at the financial statement, there's way too many numbers to read already. How on earth am I going to know what are the key indicators that I should take note of? So all in all, I, want to actually, I have actually combined everything. I want to teach you guys how to actually invest with a combination of everything. Right? So what exactly is this MINT strategy? Um, very simply, you look at M stands for microeconomy. It's so important to know the economy. You can't invest blindly not knowing the economy, okay? And indicators of the economy is very important, followed by network as well as the timing of entrance and exit, okay? So how is the economy doing right now? I guess this question is something that, um, uh, I mean, intrigue all of us, investors or investors to be or how do we navigate the current situation it's so volatile and so exciting for me when i was like looking at the market um time to time okay omicron omicron itself is already an old news you know that omicron started off from covid has been affecting the market for the past two years since 2019 until now we are still talking about covid are we not tired about it yeah, pretty much so. So you see, at the earlier part of the year, the market has already rebounded. I mean, sorry, the market actually went up. We are actually doing a um higher highs until recently that the market actually had a very major, uh, rather a, a big correction. Okay, so um, Omicron is a is a news of the of the past, but now what is happening right is this thing yeah. Inflation. Inflation is so exciting. In the US itself, right, it was stated that inflation surged 7.5% on an annual basis, even more than expected, and the highest since 1982. Wow, 7.5%, friends. Can you guys imagine how much is 7.5%? Imagine you go you go out to buy a, a, a meal, 5.7%. Whoa. Oh, I think the meal um cannot eat. <laughs> I might have indigestion. <laughs> right. So 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 how? How how? Okay, how are we going to navigate this? I'm not sure if you I'm going to break down this this inflation search, right? We know that consumer price index is up 0.6% for all items. Core inflation in US itself is 6%. Whereas, right, whereas the real earning of worker during the time of evaluation only increased by 0.1%. Okay. Take, take some time to absorb it there. Everything, all the goods are increasing in price except one thing, earning. How? How are we going to actually be able to support ourselves financially, number one? Number two, how are we going to retire? Okay, and a couple of it, right, is this thing. The White House warns that Russia could invade Ukraine within days, urges Americans to leave. Okay, but the good news is, right, uh, earlier when I was just reading up on the news, Russia actually put back some troops. So I guess it's a good news. And I, and the pre-market has been, has, has, uh, sought, has showed a, a pre-search. So it's a good news to know that uh, maybe... It's not that imminent, but is that a possibility that will happen? Yes, I would say so. Okay, maybe not now, maybe next time, maybe um, in, the, in the far future. This is something that we do not know. When the war comes, it comes, all right? But I want, to, I want to pinpoint one thing right now is, look at inflation. Inflation just means that the US is going to increase the interest rate. Right of of the of the US and Singapore being packed to US, we also see a similar increase in interest rate as well. Okay, so it was uh, I mean like your analysis uh, economists analysis have actually mentioned that interest rate can increase by three times, five times, seven times. There wasn't a definite answer that was being mentioned. But how are we going to invest right now? It's very very volatile. And I hope that one, one thing that the Fed actually, you know, comes to a realization that inflation is one of the problems. Behind inflation, 
there's still this supply chain problem, right? Okay. The supply chain can be um the supply chain is actually something that has been long-standing. It's not just because of COVID-19 that it happened. It has been long-standing because of the workforce, because of uh, the, the, the Brexit, uh, the, the environmental uh, impact of logistics where people shift from you know, the traditional way of, of, con- uh, of performing their industries to now this thing called to be environmentally friendly. So there's been a lot of shift recently. And coupled with COVID, right, there has been a geographical shift in demand and supply as well to, to a lot of different sectors. So there are so many things going on right now. How are we going to enter the stock market? I do not know about you guys right now, but for me, I prefer to hold on to cash. <laughs> so so that's my that's my particular uh, my my current um investing um take right now. Hold on to cash because why? Look at the indicators. Okay, but before I go into the indicators, uh, I need to teach you guys on some term- terminologies that I'll be using. Bearish. Bearish, uh, you see the bear so cute. Uh, doesn't mean the bear is harmless, yeah? <laughs> Bearish means the, the, the economy is going, I mean, the, the, the market is going down. Whereas bullish, where the, where the bull like chong, right? Means that the market is going up. So just bear in mind, guys, I'm not sure what is your, 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 your level of investment. Bearish means... Oh, sorry, bearish means downwards, bullish means upwards, right? Okay, so we look at the indicator proper. This particular chart is S&P 500. I always like to look at S&P 500 first to know, a, to, to know the general market sentiment of how the market is doing. As you guys can see out there, right? Over the past one year, market is upwards trend. I'm, I'm, I'm quite comfortable knowing that the market is upwards trend. So uh, if I uh, invest early like last year, I know that I'm still profiting. Uh, so thanks God. <laughs> so medium to long term trend is in there. However, I want you all to note that currently you see the, the end part, right? It's narrowing. There might be a change in momentum. I do not know until the market actually tell us, signal us that long term, medium term to long term bearish. Okay. Currently, I do not know. I'd rather be on the safe side so as not to lose the money. Okay, but nevertheless, if you guys have the time horizon to invest over three years, four years, five years, S and P five hundred based on historical value, of course, historical value is nothing. It is not going to be representative of the future, but you will know that in the if based on historical value, S and P five hundred. If you invest long term, it actually being profitable. If you invest since two thousand, if you invest in two thousand seventeen year on year, you can see at least a twelve percent increment. However, two thousand eighteen, I I believe all of you guys know what's happening then. That only S and P saw a negative part point. If otherwise, year on year compounding interest is always positive. Okay, but you look at the short term indicator of S and P five hundred. The you can see right, the blue line is actually above. The purple line. The blue line simply put SMA 40. The purple line is SMA 20. Okay. Blue line above the purple line just means that the short term wise, the market is bearish. If you guys invest, go decides to go in right now, you will see a lot of fluctuations. It can what is low can go lower. What's high might can go lower and might can go higher. This one's something that we cannot foresee. But what I want to show you guys, what I want to kind I want to emphasize to you guys is there's actually this thing called a widening gap at the end. Okay, which means to say the bearish part is getting bigger, of which it can affect the medium to long term trend. And if you guys do not look at the momentum to do investment, what is low gets into lower. You guys can do decides to do dollar cost averaging in. But my question. That I want to ask you guys is, do we as ordinary uh, civilians have so much money to keep putting in money to dollar cost averages every time where you see there's a drop in pricing? I'm not sure about you guys, but personally, I do not have. So, so I rather hold on to cash. Currently, I rather hold on to cash and go in when I see a uh, exact momentum change to know that the market is bullish. Okay. So N, N stands for 
network. What company to invest in? How do we make sure that we don't lose a single penny in our cost of investment? Is by investing in good fundamental companies. So I need you guys to know that this every one of us have our own circle of competency, our own circle of companies that we know very, very well. And please only consider this invest, these companies for investment. Other companies that you do not know and you think that you want to invest in, you can actually do your own research. Never, ever go in blindly, right? So what to research on? Very simple, three things. You need to know the business model. You need to know the financial evaluation. And you need to do intrinsic value. Okay, these are the three things that you need to know in order to know what, how is the company doing? Is the company fundamentally good? Do you have the conviction to put in ten thousand, to put in twenty thousand, to put in one hundred thousand dollars? And regardless of the market fluctuations, you are able to close your eyes, sleep, and wait for the market to rebound. Right. So these are the very core uh, criteria that you guys actually need to to remember and know right, to research on. And on top of it, right, it's not always, right, that you will have the opportunity to actually invest in intrinsically in, uh, under, undervalued companies. So, so Warren Buffett always likes to say, you know, invest um, invest in a company that is worth the amount. Um, when it's undervalued, go in more. And then when it's overvalued, um, write the trend. If, if, if it's the company's not worth it, sell it, right? So I want to actually emphasize this. Not all companies at all times are able to find uh, one that is below intrinsic value. Currently, because of the whole COVID situation, because of the whole uh, interest rate inflation, um, the whole the impending war situation, yes, you will see a lot of companies that is below intrinsic value. So at this time, it's actually a very, very good time to actually go and do your research on what is a company that you like that you think has a good business model, has a good financial to invest in, right? And how do we know when to go in? Ah, that's a very big question that I guess most of us wants to know. And this goes by good fundamentals. Nevertheless, you know, when you talk about technical, I mean, sorry, good technicals. When you talk about technical, right, it can get very overwhelming sometimes. I'm, I'm not sure about you. You know, like when, for me, when I started off my classes, my, my trading classes, uh, my mentor tell me, you know, get up, uh, flush up, uh, flush down, then double bottom, uh, double top. Then when it comes to candlestick, you talk about hammer, talk about inverted hammer, talk about ice cream bar. I was like, wow, mind blown. There's way too many um different technical to look at. It's, it's, and then you talk about indicators also. So indicators apart from a simple moving average, you talk about Fibonacci, you talk about um, MACD, RSI, all these things. It's way too many things to actually, you know, um, explain to you guys currently right now in, in, in this very short webinar, right? But a few key indicators that I want to, to tell you guys is here. This is a chart of Tesla. You look at this particular chart, just box up this area. This area is a combination of get up, flush up, Okay, of which are areas of my concern. If I see a gap up or flush up, this is where I actually want to actually take profit. If I'm already in position, I want to take profit. Do I want to write the momentum to go higher? Maybe not because it is a lot on um, retailers or, or, or market uh, manipulation that drives the, the price of the stock up, right? So I, 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 this is where I want to be safe. I want to take profit. Right, and then the next box. If you that, that represents a double top, okay. So when a double top are typically just means that the it just indicates that the market is going down, lah, right? When you see a double top, so don't go into prematurely, right? And then the third box is the bottom. So the bottom you see is a double bottom of which you know that the market will go upwards, right? Um, last but not least, you can see a flush down. Okay, flash down is also an indicator that I want to sell everything already. Uh. I'd rather half my portfolio if to, to, to take my profit. If otherwise, I just want to, to close it, right? Okay, um, last but not least, the arrow, right, is where I would actually want to re-enter the market. Not because I see what is the end, but rather if I, if I, if I, could, if I could dwell more into the technical analysis, which I want to, uh, but currently it's not a very good time, you will see that you will understand why it's a very good time to enter, okay? 
So these are very key um, technical indicators or just a very brief summary, right, of what you guys must know when you all look when you think of investing in stocks in terms of looking at the chart. So uh, I just gave you all a very brief one so that you have a very uh, a fundamental to actually have a basis on. Okay, moving on, this thing, very important, that you guys, all of you guys must have, must need to actually mitigate, which is risk. Okay, so considering uh, picture A and picture B, uh, a, a kid driving and an adult driving, right? One with knowledge and one without knowledge. So, so tell me, do you guys do you guys want to actually you know invest in the stock market with knowledge or without knowledge? If you want to be A type A, if you guys want to be B type B, in the chat. Yeah, I, I'm not sure for, for, for you guys, but when I just started off in the stock market, I was A. I was literally A. I did not know what I was doing. So I just went in in a very safe dollar cost averaging. I will see my portfolio increase year on year, but very slowly. Lah. <laughs> so, so, I, so, I, so I, want to, I want to encourage you guys to be B. Please do your own due diligence. Please read up. I know that financial statements can be a bit boring. Looking up at the, at the company... Um, Guidance can be a bit boring, but at least have the fundamental knowledge to know what you guys are doing. So please be B. If you guys decide to be A, thankfully nobody nobody said that you want to be A. You want to be A, then you'll be like a kid. Lah. You need to take responsibility. Um, if there's any losses, then um, <laughs> you, need to, you need to take account, accountability for that. Lah. But congratulations to all of you guys who actually choose B. Celebrate wins. Okay, anytime that you see your portfolio goes up, don't be greedy. Depending on the indicator, celebrate wins, take half the take half the profit and 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 to, to reinvest to something else. Okay. Very importantly, please mitigate your risk and manage your risk. Okay. So like what Warren Buffett says, risk comes from not knowing what you are doing. Right? So always get yourself educated. And what Warren Buffett says also, number one, rule number one. Never lose money. Rule number two, never ever forget rule number one. Okay. But I want to I want to raise this one. I because I think most of you guys might be Singaporeans. Um, so I want to raise this question to you guys. Okay. What is your plan? Singapore is reviewing their 2022 inflation forecast as consumer prices rise to new highs in December. What is your plan? Okay. At the point of this um news. Core inflation rise by 2.1%, which is the highest since July 2014. And I am I, I, I'm sure that I know recently that, that it was also in the news that Comfort Delco also up 20%. Uh, sorry, 20 cents in their, in their meter prices. So what is your plan? Everything is going to get more and more expensive. But one thing that we can tell ourselves is having a plan to actually write out this period of time. Okay. For example, let's say if uh, if uh, you have $1,000 right now, and if you don't invest, assuming the interest rate is 3.8%, over 10 years, your $1,000, your $100,000 will only become $67,000. Is this something that is acceptable to, your, to, to you guys? This is something that you need to ask yourselves. If I borrow, if, if I borrow, I mean, if I, if I lend somebody $100,000, but 10 years later, the person only returns me $68,000. Wow, hard pain. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of money lost there. So please, please, please do look, do look, re-look into your financial strategy and see how you can make things work for yourself, right? Very important. Investing is one way, but there are other ways as well. Albert Einstein also mentioned that compounding interest, right, is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. And he who doesn't, Pays it. I want you guys to understand what is compounding interest. If you do not know, you can private message me or you guys can actually go on Google. Compounding interest is very important and it is also the magic formula to how the rich get riches. Right? So this comes to the end of my session. I do have a gift for all of you guys out there. So because today is the last day of Chinese New Year, I want to wish everybody Hola! and I want to give you guys this top three stock to actually look out for in 2022, right? And for whoever who actually, you know, um, 
sign on to 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 the top three stocks to look out for in 2022, I wanted to give you guys a chance to win class passes. Lah. So class passes, uh, I mean class pass, right? I wanted to give you all 25 credits to actually build on your health because currently I'm actually running a campaign to, to improve my own health. So why not extend this to you guys as well for you guys to actually, you know, improve your health while researching on what is the next three stocks to invest in 2022. Currently, the market is very volatile. I myself am not looking at entering the market anytime soon until probably March after the Fed confirm how much is the interest rate high and the guidance for the, for the, interest, uh, for the, for the interest rate as well. So why not spend this time do a lot of researching and also at the same time build out our own health because we can't really invest anyways, right? So just, just um, you can, if you guys are interested, you guys can actually, you know, type bit.ly slash capital F financial me see. Um, let me know your, your, your details. I'll just email you guys my top three stocks to look out for in 2022 and also give away two lucky winners to win a class pass worth of 25 dollars uh, 25 credits for exercises right so um for you guys who are not been following me or new to me um yeah you can follow me in my instagram as well as my facebook um my handle are both the same financial music you can just um look for me out there i got some i i i periodically do um a lot of um psychology in terms of investing in terms of business on my both portfolio so you guys can actually follow me you guys are more in tune with that and on top of it every sunday afternoon i do do stock dissecting with uh, a partner of mine so we'll be sharing you guys on certain stocks of your particular interest to tell you fundamentally whether this is a stock worth investing in and also technically whether it's a time for entry in terms of investment as well as trading right so it's a very exciting it's a very it's very exciting um facebook page to actually you know um to do to follow so i'll see you guys in the two different platforms right so end of my yeah. sharing all right okay fantastic thanks um isabella for the sharing so the financial missy really live up to her name yeah so not only she's not sharing on uh on, on wealth right okay on the financial side right uh, she's also concerned about our health okay so that's the missy side yeah so you know some people may not know uh we, we do in singapore we call the nurse uh, missy okay so uh, i believe that's what it means right so uh yeah uh, do uh, I will paste in the link later for everyone as well for you to click it uh, easily, right? So uh, do download the three stocks, you know, to that that you know the financial missy has you know uh, compound for everyone, uh, compound for uh, compound for everyone. Yep, and also do follow her if you want to see more of her sharing, uh, more often because she does that as well <clears throat> on her own page. Right. Okay. So if everyone has liked their uh, like uh, Isabella sharing, okay. So I will just like to request, you know, maybe you can tap on the like or the love button, whichever you 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 like better. Okay. So do you like her sharing or do you love her sharing? You, you only have the two choices. Okay. So you must tap on that. Okay. If you if you have enjoyed so far, lah. Yeah. So also uh, do share it out if you feel that you know potentially um, this sharing would uh, you know. Uh, benefit uh, people around you or your friends or maybe your own Facebook group as well right okay so yeah and you know our some of our audience say what okay what to you as well today is the last day of Chinese New Year right so uh, what to everyone okay so can Ku say health and wealth yes that's both uh, equally important right <clears throat> okay and uh, someone say thanks uh, sorry I cannot see your name yeah so Another person also said thank you, Missy. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, any last words for our um, audiences before we say our good night, Isabella? Right. So, uh, so you guys out there, if you guys got any question, you can you guys can feel free to type in the chat. But also, like, I can actually help to address questions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So far, there isn't any questions, but if there is later on. Uh, feel free to go back to the same link you know type in your question in the comment 
uh, the financial MC will take a look and you know answer our questions by replying on the on the comment itself. Right. Okay. If not, uh, again, once again, uh, happy Chinese New Year to everyone. Okay. Hope you have a good night uh, ahead, and um, we shall see you in the next Facebook Live. So trade safe. Uh, stay safe and of course lastly this has to be said uh, to the moon okay to the moon everyone good night see you bye 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 bye